Jim who called for bloody civil war on Trump busted in disgusting act behind his back ever since Trump became president, he's been trying to fulfill his campaign promise to make America safe again. Cracking down on illegals residing in our country has been a central part of his presidency so far, where he's been rounding up and deporting these criminals right and left while recently doing away with the Obama Air Dock program that protected 800,000 people who were in our country illegally from deportation. Liberals have been completely unhinged over President Trump daring to uphold the law, where they continued to slander him as some sort of bigoted Mexican-hating racist, despite the fact that our president is simply putting the interests of the American people before illegals, criminals, and potential terrorists. One of the most vocal opponents to President Trump's immigrant crackdown has been Democratic Rep. Luis Gutierrez, who made headlines several months ago for inciting acts of terrorism against President Trump, where he made a YouTube video encouraging illegals to take to the streets and fight and start an all-out civil war against the president. But calling for blood and violence in the streets wasn't quite enough for Gutierrez, who has just been caught in a career-ending scandal after it was discovered what he's been secretly doing with taxpayer dollars for years. The DC Clothesline reports that this illegal supporting Democrat has just been caught red-handed with his grubby hands in the cookie jar, and has been secretly funneling taxpayer money to both his campaign, and his family, making them rich. Via DC Clothesline According to a new report from the Washington Free Beacon Rep, Gutierrez has paid his wife and daughters hundreds of thousands of dollars from campaign funds, over the last five or six years. Gutierrez's wife has personally profited the most, pocketing more than $300,000 over the last four election cycles. The first time Soraya acted in an official capacity for the campaign, in 2010, she pulled in over $44,000 and was the top recipient of cash from the Gutierrez campaign that year. Soraya then pocketed over $93,000 in 2012, making her the biggest beneficiary of campaign funds for the second election cycle in a row. The committee dispersed $383,848 in 2012, so Soraya's payments constituted roughly 25% of all campaign expenditures. Soraya was yet again the top beneficiary of cash from Gutierrez for Congress during the 2014 election cycle, receiving $110,000. Herman Andrew, a vendor, was the second highest paid individual at $24,000. Soraya has pocketed $65,000 during the 2016 election cycle to date. She has been paid a total of $312,000 from the Gutierrez for Congress Campaign Committee since 2010. However, it doesn't stop with the $300,000 to Gutierrez's wife. Gutierrez's daughters have also benefited from their father's campaign coffers, though nowhere near as extravagantly as the candidate and his wife. Of course, he has nothing to worry about. The media won't report this because he's a Democrat. It's truly a wonder how these democratic criminals are still allowed to roam the streets free. Inciting acts of terrorism is now becoming just a common occurrence, as these liberals actively encourage blood and violence in the streets in order to resist President Trump. Being that there's currently over 11 million illegals in America, Gutierrez's calls for them to rise up is a serious threat towards our country. Liberals always like to argue that America is a country of immigrants and that our doors should therefore be automatically open to whoever wants in. The issue with opening our borders is that we have no idea who is flooding into our country, consequences that were on full display earlier this week in New York City after a ISIS backed Muslim psychopath mowed down innocent bicyclists and pedestrians in a fatal attack that killed eight. It's time that we stop letting Democrats like Gutierrez hide behind the First Amendment and incite acts of terrorism against our president. Hopefully this latest scandal of him stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars from the American taxpayers in order to pad the pockets for his campaign and family members will finally end his career, and put this domestic terrorist clown behind bars where he belongs. belongs.